This is a video outlining and illustrating RS Studio, what it looks like and how to import a data frame into R so you can start working with it and plotting stuff on it. So we've got three windows here. This is our console here, uh, which is where the output of all of your script commands pops up. We've got the global environment, which tells you if you've got active data sets. And then here we've got our working directory um, and plots appear under this tab here and files in here. So the first thing we need to do is to tell R where to look for files. So we need to set the working directory. So we go to session, set working directory, and then choose the directory. So if we go um, to home, all of you because we're logged in over here as your username, you should have access to your university U drive. So on here is all sorts of stuff. And at the moment we're just choosing a folder, so none of our individual files need to be obvious, but we're gonna choose that one. That means it R looks for files in that drive and it also places files that you save in that drive. So we've set that now. The command up here says set working directory U drive. Okay, so now we want to import a data set into R, and these are called data frames. So the first thing we need to do, we can see down here that there's a couple of files here that we're interested in, and we're going to try and import the sulfur.txt, which is a text file, into R. So we click here, which is our R script add button, and now we have a new window, and it's called our basically script window. Now you'll type everything in this window, outputs will appear in this window. So now we want to read this file, we want to find this file and load it into R at the moment, it's just in our U drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the name of the file, sulfur, that's what it's going to be called in R, and then the greater than, sorry, less than sign, and then a, just a dash, which is the sort of read symbol, and then we're going to ask R to read a table because this is a bunch of numbers in the form of a table. We use the brackets to tell it what table to read and we always put the file name in speech marks. So the file name is sulfur and it's a .txt file. That's our file name. Move one to the right, comma, and then we need to tell the uh, program that the first row of that file is our headers or our variable names. So we need to put header equals T, which is for true. So now we have a command here that we've written in here. So it says we're going to call it sulfur. We're reading a table and that's called that we're looking for sulfur text. We've defined the U drive down here. So now when we run this by either um, command apple and enter for a Mac or control R, it pops up down here. So this now echoes the command that we've just written and it's loaded, it's ready to go. So it's recognized our table, it's in the correct format and it's ready to go, it's all in blue. Now let's have a look at that. So we just type sulfur and then run the command and now it shows us our data file. So we can see now that our data file consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables, which all run down here. It's loaded them all in separately and it has a nice set of data in there. So now we're pretty much ready to work with that. An alternative method is to basically just use the import file. So now we could go import data set from a text file and here you can use CSV files as well as text files. Find the file you want to do, so we're going to use the CSV one and click open. The headings, yes we do have headings, the name there, it's recognizes it's comma separated so it looks like this but actually it recognizes that the data frame is going to look like this, then we hit import and it loads it in. So now it looks a little bit different, looks a little bit more constructed and it's in a new tab called sulfur. So we haven't actually had to type any code in there to do that, but this is something that you can do on RStudio that isn't really available on the R program. 
and it's quite a nice way to to quickly import data it also gets around some of the issues like missing values and it'll just remove spaces and put dots where um, there should be so now we're ready to work with all of those things and your data frame is in R and ready to go